In a time long there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how, at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. This game looks so good. I'll, uh, I'll do the intro as soon as we get to the main title screen. Saunters in.
Welcome back to Litvin Media. My name is Nicholas Cartier, and today I'm going to be streaming the Medieval demo. Now, I, uh, I have a history with this game, so uh, this is uh, one of the first games of my memory that I can remember actually beating this game with my father. My father! And, uh, no, it's just, uh, it's really nostalgic, and I am excited that they're remaking this game, and I'm excited they gave me a demo that I can play. So, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna hit new game and see what's going on with, uh, <laughs> Sir Daniel Fortescue. bottom draw. Dan's crypt. Rise and shine, Dan. Looks like you've got a second chance at this whole hero thing. I'm trying not to mess it up this time. It has risen again! Hmm. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. But we knows better. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it us a chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Talk to Gollum. So, I will say I did play a little bit of this game because I heard I could get the helmet. So, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be neat. So I wonder how you can equip it. Let's check this out. Huh. <laughs> oh. So he throws it, he's like, uh, what is he? He's like fucking Kratos. I throw it at that thing. Okay, check out this book. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Let me actually mess around with this for a second. Let's check it out. So, my camera right now, sorry, my camera right now is over my health bar. So, I think in theory. I should be able to, uh, put it right there, and it shouldn't mess around with anything too bad. So, let's check it out. Yeah, there's my beautiful face. Let's read that book. Aww. 
Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Oh. I wonder. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Okay, so uh, that that motherfucker right there won't, uh, you know, let me. When you're uh, ready to leave the script, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. You will find life bottles throughout Galonia. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. Nice. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. That's what she said. All right. Throwing daggers. Got 100 of them. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Sword. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Nice, that's pretty cool. I see that uh, Dan's watching, so what up Dan? Welcome to Limit Media. <laughs> he is, he is Limit Media. So, uh, let's go kill some shit. Track down uh, Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Magic slime. Medieval. I'm not mistaken, it's only these that level that we just played, which is like the beginning thing, and then the, this level right here, the, the graveyard. The graveyard. I'm glad I had you at Stinking Trail. So it doesn't look like the sword has a charge attack when it can No. Maybe something. That's rude.
Alright, do it. So pretty much one of the goals of uh, Medieval is to fill up your chalice, is from what I remember. Welcome back you to your, your beloved by Kalamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance stinking with dead. the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Over my reanimated body, thank you very much. Check it out. Where do we want to go? That small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs. But when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. Red Dead He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks. But he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. That's oh. I... Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Mm. So, I need a rune. I need a red rune. A chaos rune. So, let's, uh, let's check, to check, 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 to check it out. I also need that rune. Hmm. There's that one. The Earth Rune. Dude, no, seriously, this game does look good. It's, um... It, it looks good, it feels good. It reminds it's really nostalgic. Look at that. He crouches. Every person that you kill, it uh, it pretty much sends their soul to your chalice. And once it's at one hundred percent, you can go gather it. I found the chaos room. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. For anything interesting. Oh. Yeah, so he, uh, he kicks chest. Oh, I guess not that chest. That's embarrassing. I swear, I swear there's a way to kill those hands. 
remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Our chalice. Let's learn about it. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a sword, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. Nice. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Buble. Alright. Kill that guy real quick. The jump combo. Yeah, so whenever you kill them, they uh you can see the spirits, they fly to the chalice. So let's go up here. There's a book to read. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. My chalice, well, my chalice is uh, not ready. Let's open that boy. It's quiet, too quiet. Chalice can be collected, which is neat. We can jump down there if we want. Do we want to? Do we want to? That's a real question. I believe that's the way we came. Yeah, let's get it. Nice. All here always. I do need the skull key for that. I don't think you get that in this level. You might get it in the last level. Who knows? Not me. If I had to gather the chalice, I wonder where their souls go. This week in game. Alright, so... Alright. I'm not gonna buy any, because I don't think I can, uh... I think after this level it's over, anyway, so... Ba boom ba boom ba boom I was trying to cheese it up there. 
Um, fuck that guy. Fuck that tombstone. Go up here, get some hail. So I wonder what, uh, underneath my health bar. Yeah, I have two magic potions. Nice. So underneath my health bar, there is another, uh, another bar that says 45. I have no clue. I don't remember what that's about. Copper shield because if you've been using your shield at this point, it probably breaks. I don't know how to equip the helmets. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> uh, she thinks she's so funny. There it is. There we go. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Let's go through. Thanks for playing, pre-order and exit. No, yeah, so uh I'm excited for this game, really. It uh it handles really, really well and it's just super nostalgic. It, like I said in the beginning of the video. It uh, reminds me of uh, playing and beating this game with my dad. It's just uh, just a lot of good memories. Um, other than that, I don't know. I don't think there's any more I can play in this game. I think it just brings me back to the whole main screen. That's like new game. In a time long ago, there lived. We'll see. Yeah, man, no problem. Uh, you should uh, should download it and give it a try. I think you would enjoy it. It's uh, not quite a platformer, but I think it's fun. Plus, like, look at Daniel. Look at his face. Bro, though, look at this. Look at the statue of him. Just like check out his face. Ugly boy. I want you to before I before I end the stream. I want you to hear this guy's laugh though. This little uh, crypt keeper right here. <laughs> Sinister. Sinister. It is so good. But anyways, uh, this has been uh, this has been the medieval demo. If you if you enjoyed it, check out some of our other videos. Other than that, uh, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. It has and, uh, risen again. Free chair and subscribe. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? Classic. The hero of Galomia who fell at the first charge. <laughs>